Hey guys, it's Dave from Dabi La Cafe, and today we're going to be brewing our Proven Narillo with a Kalita Whip. If you haven't already tried our Ruben Darío, go check it out at davilacafe.com forward slash coffee. Go get yours. So the Kalito Way is my go-to. On most mornings, I start boiling my water and I prepare to brew a Kalito Way. You'll need the following things to brew with a Kalito Way. Of course, the Kalito Way itself. A carafe. You'll need a coffee scooper. A scale. The Kalita Way filter, notice that it is flat on the bottom. Great quality coffee, Ruben Nario. Coffee mug, a grinder, and a kettle. Our water is already boiled at this point, so we're going to place the filter inside of the Kalita Way. We're going to take the hot water and pour it down into the filter. What this does is it, it removes any paper flavor inside of our filter. We don't really want that in our coffee. It doesn't taste good. As the water filters through, we're gonna measure 25 grams of whole bean coffee right before we grind. You might say, why do you measure your coffee, David? Well, the reason why we measure our coffee is that if we make a good cup of coffee the first time, we like to do it again later in the future. So in this case, we measure 25 grams of coffee, and we're going in for the grab. Once you've completed grinding your coffee, take the water that's inside of your carafe and just discard it. Place your 25 grams of coffee inside of your filter. Be sure to first tear your scale. I almost forgot, tear your scale. Tear it to zero and pour your 25 grams of coffee into the filter. Once you've completed that, Level down the grinds. Tear it once more, and we're going in for our first pour. For the first pour, we're gonna pour 80 grams of water within 10 seconds. So 80 grams into our filter within the first 10 seconds. As your water begins to filter through the Kalita wave, you're gonna wait until the 30 second mark. This is called the blooming session. During the blooming process, we're letting the gases inside of the coffee just release and come out. Once we hit the 30 second mark, we're gonna pour 200 grams of water into our Kalita wave right before we hit the one minute mark. So you want to pour pretty generously. You have only 30 seconds to pour 200 grams of water. Once the water's filtered through, you're going to pour 20 to 40 grams, about 20 to 40 increments of water into your filter. And you want to do so before you reach the two minute mark. The total is to get to 350 grams of coffee. As you pour, make sure you get the darker areas. You wanna make sure that you're extracting all of the brines and not some of them. Smells really good. If you want, you just wanna geek out, just dip it in there. It smells amazing, it smells amazing. Alright, we've reached 
two minutes and we're already at 350 grams. At this point, just wait till the water filters through your Kalita Wave. As you wait, fill your mug with hot water to warm up your mug. This is our Stay Fueled mug. You can also find it on our website at davilacafe.com. And if you don't know why it says Stay Fueled, check us out on social media, on Instagram, and see our posts to learn more about why we decided to go with Stay Fueled. All right, your coffee's ready to go. It's completely brewed. Remove the, the Kalita wave from the top of the carat and pour your coffee into your mug. As always, don't forget to brew one for yourself and one for a friend. I'm like shaking. <laughs> okay, you through this. Check out your Ruben Dario at davilacafe.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media and on Instagram at davilacafe. Hasta luego. <laughs>